as we said, uh, all business transactions in the SAP system are uh, saved using a document. But a central piece that controls this process is called just a journal uh, entry type. Or uh, if you have a lot of experience using the, the SAP system or, and even customizing the SAP system in previous releases, this is just what we call the document type. So um, in this lesson, we will show the steps to create a new um, document type. And of course, we will assign the number range that we created in the previous lesson. So well, for this, let's just open financial accounting. Uh, financial accounting global settings, of course. Here we have document. But now we will just open the first uh, path here, the, the first node, which is document types. Let's start the define document types uh, transaction. And well, um, at first the, the screen will just show a list of all the existing uh, document types. Uh, just uh, actually most of them standard because that's uh, also interesting just to mention that um, the system uh, will be delivered by SAP with some templates with some just default uh, document types actually it's very common just to use most of them and to create just for a special uh, documents uh, special requirements that we may have with a customer create new ones so well uh, right now we will show the process to create a new document type so let's just come to new New entries and um, well of course uh, the screen changes uh, completely because now this is the one that we can use to create to enter all the parameters that will be, will be valid for our new document type actually let's start with the ID of the document type then uh, we need just to uh, enter the number range this is the one that we created in the previous lesson so let's just enter 88 and now uh, all these postings uh, that we can have with this uh, document type, um, well, they create documents as we have been saying. And as uh, we will see, you can never delete a document, uh, a financial document that is already posted because uh, uh, just for uh, audit purposes uh, and to have a clear understanding of uh, the history of what has happened with, with these documents. So if there is a problem with one document, maybe just a typo, uh, maybe uh, instead of 1 million, we enter 10 million, for example, in the amount. Uh, and because we cannot correct that uh, in a document that has already been posted, you cannot change, for example, the amount. Well, then we can't delete. Also, that's important to mention. We can't, we can never delete a, a, um, a document that has already been posted. So the only alternative is what we call to reverse the document. And uh, that is the point here with this uh, next field. Um, the the transaction is just saying, okay, you want to create a new document type, but what will be the document type that should be used if we reverse a document that was posting with the set one document type? So, well, let's just um, use the match code to see some of the options, but they, again, most of these are just standard. Let's actually use a standard, which is this AB accounting document, just a general accounting document. Now, the next section, as he's saying, it's very clear because you're saying, hey, well, what uh, account types uh, are valid for this new document type? So we have like assets, customers, vendors, materials, the yield accounts, or even secondary costs. Uh, but well, right now, what we want this document uh, type for is for vendors and for GL accounts. So let's also select GL accounts. And that's uh, pretty much it, uh, even for the mandatory fields, uh, because we have so many other things. For example, maybe every time a, um, an employee is, uh, will create, um, a, every time that they will create a new um, a document using this document type, maybe we want to force them like to have the reference uh, number field as mandatory. So we like will force them to uh, fill the value there. Or maybe we want to allow this document type uh, for negative postings. So we can uh, want to permit those or even uh, have a default uh, exchange rate type uh, if we have documents uh, um, in foreign currencies using this document type but some of these settings I mean all of them actually are optional and we don't want to have them for our uh, first document type that we're creating right now so let's just save the customizing settings settings as they are 
and with this we can go back one, one screen because here we can just enter a short description for a, our new document type let's enter just a, like exec executive expenses and well uh, with this let's just uh, save like, even the, the description save uh, everything that has to do with our document type and actually as you can see well uh, that's it for that uh, process to create the new uh, journal entry the new document type so let's just finish the lesson of course but invite you uh, just to keep you uh, to keep learning with all of our trainings and especially with this one in some of the coming sections we'll uh, use um, our new document type um, in just uh, the posting of a, a um, expense uh, so well uh, thank you as always for all the attention and we'll see you there